Hello there my friends and welcome to the second layout in this mini series that I am doing here on YouTube. Basically this series shows how I am using Apple Collection, like totally finishing it off and then also using showing you how I can use this very highly um, themed collection and using it for things, for layouts um, that are other than what the collection was supposed to be for. So with this one, um, this is a nautical beach water theme collection, but it has a lot of blues and reds in it. And so I decided that I'm gonna use the kind of the blues and the browns for a masculine type layout. So that's what I'm starting with this. I actually used a kind of reddish orange cardstock that was from my stash and that's going to be the foundation of my layout and then uh, I used the kind of turquoise blue um, I forgot what the paper is called um, but that paper on the top tri uh, the, the top triangle paper that is um, that's what I'm going to use and I use that I, I mean, I'm sorry I'm cut I cut that as a triangle um, because I just wanted kind of a different design here um, if you're if you've watched my videos before you know that I have a, like a go-to design which is mostly blocks and rectangles and so I'm kind of veering away from that just to kind of you know have a change of scenery and then I'm also cutting this brown paper that actually has a lot of shells in it but I'm cutting it thin just the border so that you will really only see the kind of the brown parts of that and I think that's one of the things that we can take away or that maybe you can take away from this lesson is that if you have papers that have very heavy design you can always just use kind of parts of it just to kind of peek out and people would not really notice the design because you're using just a very small piece of it. And I've pre-printed all of my journaling for these particular layouts. And so I'm just cutting out um, the journaling for this layout and cutting it them into strips so I can put them on the bottom one. Now the bottom one, I use the blue because that is basically the color scheme that I'm going for. And these photos are of Father's Day about maybe five years ago, I think it was 2014, and I'm just going to be documenting what we did, how we celebrated this special father in our life here in the Tolman home. Um, I also added some more circles. I cut out a bunch of circles from my previous layout and I had some leftovers, and so I decided to use the blue one just to create a visual triangle so that it matches that tri um, that triangle on the bottom. Now for the title, I didn't really have any plan for the title, but I remembered this 3x4 that said hello, and it matched the color of the um, the turquoise triangle on the top, and so I'm going to cut that out. But because, um, you know, it was kind of a diagonal hello on the 3x4, I decided to just cut out the hello word out of it. So that was one of the things that I wanted to emphasize with this particular layout or lesson was that um, you can always look at the words that are printed on to the papers or the stickers and just cut them out and nobody will really know or um, it wouldn't really show much of the theme or the heavy theme of the, the collection. And so I needed to finish my title and I just decided to go with the word handsome. And so I'm looking at my mini, mini alphabets and kind of looking at which ones that I can use. I also pulled out this diagonal red and I think that's one of the reasons why I love this layout is because there are actually some papers that um, could work across the board such as this diagonal, oh no, such as this stripe white and red paper. And so I'm just using a um, T-square ruler so that I can make sure that though when I place the letters for handsome that it will be straight. So now I've adhered everything. I did add another of that uh, brown border 
on the um, bottom triangle and then I decided that I wanted to add another circle just because I don't know it just seemed like the triangle wasn't complete and then I am um, inking the edges of all of these layouts or all of these um, circles or pattern papers rather and then um, I'm going to adhere that onto the page. I did decide to mat my photos with some blue cardstock. I just pulled some from my stash and um, that's going to basically make my photos um, come out from or you know enhance my photos a little bit more. And so now I'm going back to my sticker sheet because I have all the intentions of using up every single um, sticker in this sticker sheet if I can. Uh, and then I decided that there was this little sticker that said you um, you float my boat or something like that. And so I thought that that would be semi-appropriate for this layout. And then um, I also used the anchor just because it reminded me that my husband is the anchor here. You know, he anchors as he um, keeps us grounded. And so I'm gonna put that there. And and so that was one of the things that I wanted to um, emphasize in this particular layout was that um, there might be some images onto your heavily themed collection that could be used as something else other than you know for water or for nautical just like the, this one so i hope you like this layout and i hope that um, you will come back for the next video talk to you soon bye